Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, I want to talk about a feature uh, that we have to um, support demos and prototyping, and it's something called Fixture Scripts. So I have my application running, and I'm going to just log in. Uh, and we can see that uh, I have no data uh, in the system. Now, of course, what I could do is I could just create an object, and that would be fine. Um, but that's be fairly tedious to have to set up a bunch of data if I want to do some sort of demo to some end users and so forth. So um, instead what I can do is I can go to the prototyping menu over here and I can choose run a fixture script and then I have a drop down list and I can choose there's just one option there uh, recreate simple objects and then hit, hit OK and you can see uh, we get a, a collection back. What you're looking at here are basically a collection of view models um, which says this is the object that's been created this is the actual fixture script that created the object every object that gets created is is given a key um, and then finally we have a reference to the object itself and I can then go ahead and use that so um, what's uh, going on here then is uh, we're basically calling a fixture script called in this case recreate simple objects um, and this script lives in the fixture, um, my fixture subdomain module. Um, and uh, if I have a quick look, you can see that the main important thing in here is uh, there's a method called execute. What that's going to do is it's going to call a couple of um, sub fixture scripts in turn. One's called do a teardown, which is just delete from the underlying uh, table and then the next one is to call another fixture script that will basically go ahead and well create an object and it does that by uh, calling into an injected service um, so if I actually if you look at the uh, the signature of, um, of the recreate simple objects you can see that we can optionally specify a number and I've got some hard-coded list of names and I suppose it could have um, invented those names from somewhere else but what that means in the user interface is that if I wanted to have more than just three objects which is the default I can say number equals six say and then you can see we're getting back six objects so that's a uh, quite useful useful um, also uh, as I just went through there you can see there's actually quite a few fixture scripts well three in fact recreate simple objects and then these two sub fixture scripts as well. Um, the reason that we only get to see one fixture script listed is because of this idea of um, what's called discoverability. You can see that this fixture script is discoverable which means make it appear in the user interface. And the last thing I want to just mention briefly is that um, quite often you just want a single object. So you can see that we have this menu item here, recreate some objects and return me the first. So this um, menu item is also being provided by the framework. The way in which we indicate uh, or pr provide the information about this is there's this concept of a provider, of a fixture script specification provider. So this um, lives just here as well alongside the fixture scripts and this is basically saying uh, look this is, the, uh, this is the default fixture script for when I invoke. You can see that's pre-selected and then um, with recreate is just a pointer to uh, to this thing here. So uh, there you go, that's what fixture scripts are about. They're a great uh, tool, it's worth spending the time just to create one or two of them. And uh, as ever, give it a go, try it out. Thanks.